हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू टॉकेटिव अंजलि एंड माय किचन एंड देयर यू सी आई हैव सेट अप बट नॉट टू मच प्रेप ओवर देयर सो यू नो दैट दिस इज नॉट अ रेसिपी वीडियो इट इज एन हाउ टू वीडियो इट इज अ वीडियो टू शो यू द टेक्निक ऑफ मेकिंग थाली पीट सो आई हैव मेड द थाली पीट डो and uh, now this is a uh, regular bhajani uh, that i have used uh, well uh, if you want a recipe for the bhajani i could do that separately so let me know in the comments if you are looking out for um, a recipe for the bhajani and uh, thali peet so this uh, this particular video i will show you how i do it usually uh, for even though we are just two people because we want to eat at the same time i start off by using two different uh, cast iron tawas so uh, and while they are cold i pat the thali peet on it so i'm going to now uh, you know pat the thali peet on it so i will show it to you first we put uh, oil into the pans i'm taking oil enough oil to lubricate the pan as well as uh, toast up the thali peet and we will add more as required when we are roasting it so first oil the uh, spread the oil nicely and this is a cold pan remember so there is no uh, no danger of you know using your fingers on it now take balls of the dough so this dough has uh, uh, slit onions which are chopped thin and uh, there is cilantro there is uh, chili there is uh, turmeric red chili powder i dipped my hands into the oil on the other pan to pat this so spread it evenly that looks good i like my thali peet nice and thin and also i like it uh, crisp and then we do these holes so that you know we can add oil from the top to toast it up nicely and also so that it helps the crispening yeah take another ball your fingers into the oil on the sides spread just oil your fingers a little if you feel that the dough is sticky so i have put little bit of oil on top so that you know i don't have to dip my fingers on the sides and spread so that is nicely spread now we will start the gas and cook these thali peet so one person uh, can have this whole thali peet and it's lunch time so this is our lunch definitely want to gorge on it yeah so let's start the gas i'm now lighting the gas
in the first five minutes you can leave it on a high starting this gas also for the first five minutes I'm going to leave it leave both the gases on high you see that so that it, the pan gets heated and then we will decrease it and we are now putting on the lids so this we are going to cook under cover for 5 minutes and then come back to it so the thali peat have been roasting for 5 minutes on a high now i'm going to reduce it and allow it to cook nicely so reducing the flame to medium low and we will allow to cook let us give it one check so that we are not burning the thali peat so, yeah it needs oil so we are going to add oil let us cover and let it loosen up uh, with the grease now with the oil yeah this one also needs oil so we are going to add oil let it loosen up before we turn it over let us now turn over let's see what's happening with thali peat okay let's do good lovely see how easily it came off wow it's become nice and crisp so we are going to allow to cook it from this side See in flat pans it's easy to flip over the thali peat. So it's never a problem. But when we use kadhai it is always cooked only on one side. Yeah, it's coming off really easily. So now uncovered we will allow this to cook. And that is the fajito which I had made a couple of days ago. And I've heated it and now it's going into the thalis. So those are the thalis that I have put together. We have curd, beetroot, koshimbir. Then there is a chutney, green chutney. And so for two of us. Exactly two katoris of hajito. So I have kept the thali peat in both the thalis. I'll go and fetch the loni before I take it outside to the dining table. So that's our loni as a dabba. And we are going to take a little bit of loni for both. So this is the look of our plate in the daylight. And that's our thali peat. That is Baba's plate. That's going to be our lunch. Chevaila ya. Bye.